Hello, this is Valerie Gaddis. I thought we'd have a little fun with this video and see which one is faster. Is an accelerator wheel really all that great for a great wheel? Recently, I acquired a bump of some unknown wool that was just so dense. It feels like it might be Polypay or maybe Shetland, I don't know. It has about a three inch staple, but it was just so dense and I found it was just too time consuming to shred into pre-drafts. So I decided to card it with my cotton carders, 120 TPI. So it made some really wonderful roll lags. Each one's about one gram. I weighed them out on that geeky. Now I thought, well, let's try the difference in time between an accelerator wheel and an old fashioned bad head. If you're a great wheel spinner, you know that the bad head usually preceded the accelerator wheel. And this one is an Amos minor one, as I mentioned. But really, is it all that much better? Let's find out. I'm all set up and ready to go. This one's from New York, most recently from Iowa. It was in the same family for many, many years, probably 1820s, thereabouts. Um, it has the wide rim, New England construction, of course. Originally, it might or might not have had the bad head. It does have a female post, so it could accept either one. I thought for the time trial, I would weigh out one gram row legs and because of the time on the video involved let's just divide those in half and to give it a even chance i started this one out already and as i mentioned i am not sure of the wool it is a nice white wool it's not as fine as merino that's for sure but what i'll do to start out is i will leave a little fuzzy bit a tag and let's see how much work and how much time it takes to spin this i'll look at the counter on my video here later on and let you know but i want you to look at how many times i turn that wheel you can hear that the tension's right it's got that wonderful little pop to it i'm not taking real long drafts but this one just almost drafts itself after i carted it from roving so it went pretty quickly. So let's count the turns and see what we have. One, two, three, about three and a half. And to wind on, let's do that again. One, two, three and a half turns at least going on four, depending on the length of the draft. And to wind on again. And notice I'm not having to do a lot of walking back and forth. I usually just stay in one spot, particularly if the table of the wheel is short enough and I keep my hand in one position on the spokes as much as I can. And this is half of a gram. Just love to hear that little pop off the end. And I'm just nearly done. Give that a little bit, leave a little tuft on the end, and wind it on. That is done with the bad head. Let's see how the accelerator wheel does. Okay, we have the other half of the one gram row line. Hopefully I've got the accelerator head and everything set up correctly. With the bad head, it was about a 94 to one ratio. This one's about 260 to one because of the 47 inch drive wheel. So I've left a little tuft again and hopefully it will catch on nicely and I'll compare the timestamps on the videos again here shortly and tell you and hopefully I'll just measure the length on the bad head that we spun. Accelerator heads, Amos Minor invented them about 1809. They sold like hotcakes. They were just candy to the spinning market. It was said that they sold about 900 in one week. 
which just seems totally incredible to me, especially with marketing at the time. You know, that would have had to have been an awful lot of spinners that were just so interested in the accelerator head. And it was the thing to have. And as you notice, it cuts work substantially. Let's count the number of turns that it takes for about the same length of draft with the bad head, and we'll compare the work involved. So here's That's about one turn compared to three or four on the same uh, wheel if I had a single drive or a bad head. So here, let's look at it again. It's hardly one turn. It's no wonder they wanted them so badly. Reduce the work significantly. If you spun all day long, you can imagine the difference that it would take to uh, spin a fleece with an accelerator compared to a bad head or a single drive. So there we finished up with that half gram and I can guarantee you the time beat the other one. Here we have the half gram that's spun on the bad head and I'll take that off and measure it in length. You can tell the cop really isn't even near full. The results are in. Just wanted to tell you the results. I spun 12 yards of single ply with the bad head. That took about a minute, 45 seconds, and that is a 94 to one wheel ratio. With the accelerator head, it took about one minute, 30 seconds, and that would be about a 260 to one wheel ratio. Over the length of time, over a day, I'm sure it would make a difference. So as you can tell, the higher wheel ratio won. No wonder the public loved to have accelerator heads. Happy spinning.